Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and you may notice I'm in a different location today. And so I am at the Merge 2018 conference here with Steven Lieberman uh, who works for APlegal.com as well as Greenberg and Lieberman. So Steven, welcome. Thank you very much. And thanks for taking time out to uh, speak with me today here at Merge. And so, how's your Merge experience been so far? It's been great. We've enjoyed the uh, meeting new people and talking to old friends yeah. and showing off some of our new products. Definitely. And Stephen and I, we actually were on um, a panel here at Merge uh, together. And so, um, we had an opportunity. Uh, it was my first time meeting you as well as some, some of the others. But we had a great panel, which I wrote a bit about in the uh, daily recap, so you can review and read it for more information. But in uh, regards to Stephen, so like, what's Merge mean for you and your your business? Well, we've been in the domain industry for about twenty or so years, and always under Greenberg and Lieberman, the law firm. But now we're coming out with some new products. We came out uh, 2015 with escrow domains, which is in escrow products, similar to escrow.com, but with obviously lots more stuff in it. Ah. And Wiley Fish is the most is the latest product. It's a brand protection system. Gotcha, gotcha. So then, I mean, how did you get into the domain industry? Um, sort of a complicated story, but I, <laughs> the reality is, I really started pushing it when. I started working for a uh, guy named Thuni and Elgano back in 2003, 2004, and went to the first domain conference in 2004. Which wow! Was the traffic conference at the time. Wow! So you, so I guess you just kind of worked, I guess, or journeyed through time here in terms of uh, attending different conferences um, and so forth. So then, what does a conference like Merge do for your business? The, you know, you know people at these conferences, but as you come out with new products and there's new offerings, um, people see you, you talk, you, you meet them, you, you can tell them in person, one-on-one, -on -one, exactly what you can do for them and how you can work with their products as well. Um, a lot of the people from this conference each have their own products. They have their own platforms and they want to improve their platforms. And if you have a platform that works interactively with theirs, Gotcha. So then, tell us a little bit about escrow domains, then, um, which, like I said, I, I was new to it, um, and so because I, I, I think most are likely familiar with escrow.com, but then I heard about escrow domains just doing a bit of research, preparing for our panel, talking about uh, the secrets of domain leasing. So, you know, expound a bit on just escrow domains and Absolutely. what the offering is. Uh, escrow Domains, as I said, is an automated platform. We've been doing escrow actually since 2004, since we started, since the conference has started. But we were only doing it via paper in the traditional fashion that attorneys uh, would do it, okay. in only higher end transactions. Escrow Domains has the ability to take in very low end transactions and do them in a fully automated fashion. We're able to take in, do a lot of domain leasing and options. So you can do payments over time, so we can accept in credit, automated credit card payments, automated PayPal payments, nice. and we have a full wallet system that allows you to either keep the money inside the system so it doesn't have to come out to you immediately and you can just stay there for more transactions, or you can automatically, based on whatever sort of parameters you want, send the money back off to yourself. Um, we also have a buy it now option that allows people to uh, set up, upload Excel files, and <coughs> And, and, and associate that with particular pricing, and automatically everyone who comes and uses the system is an affiliate. So ah. if they send trans tra tra uh, traffic, they're automatically getting some sort of revenue. Gotcha. Gotcha. So then in terms of, um, I guess, in terms of the, the competitive product, like what sets you apart? Well, like first of all, we're, we're, we're a law firm. And as a law firm, we have the ability to do an awful lot more than an escrow company. Um, they have their set ways of doing things and right. really it's very hard for them to step outside of those boundaries. I can do any type of escrow. If it's not capable of being done on the platform, I can do it on paper. If you've been doing escrow, I mean, you used to run a real estate closing business, ah. there's really no different than that. You can imagine it, we can do it. That's really what it comes right down to. But 
I think I like our platform better. You know, obviously no bridges <laughs> <laughs> in that regard. But, of course. That's to be expected. Right. But expected. we provide a lot more capabilities in that you can, instead of just 50-50 or one person or the other person paying the fees, you can change whatever percentages. On payment over time, you can put in interest automatically and, uh, and say that it that gets charged automatically along the way. There's a lot of other options. You can upload contracts as needed. Um, as addendums to our terms and conditions or completely separate contracts between the parties. Ah. So there's a lot more there that's based upon more from the point of view as if you're buying a house like a HUD-1 right. as opposed to just a simple domain contract. Okay, makes sense. So then what? how do you all handle, I mean, do you handle single transactions or do you handle like multi-domain? All of the above. You can put in a single domain name, you can put in a domain name and a website, domain name, website, and a business. You can put in a thousand domain names if you want. Um, you can put in one price for those domain names, or you can put in separate prices for all those domain names, as you like it across the board. Wow. We've even done 1031 exchanges on sales okay. um, in order to be so that people are either selling their domain names and then right. popping the money off into other domain names and saving money that way. We've done cryptocurrency transactions where people pay with cryptocurrency and then we transfer it into the US when you pay euro and then transfer it onto the other side. I mean, as I said, we can do lots of different things. We're very, very fast. Gotcha. Okay. So then tell us a little bit about Wiley and Fish. I know we had a conversation the other day and both of us kind of revealed our age that we knew about Wiley Coyote. And so tell us a little bit about Wiley Fish. I mean, well, as you know, Wiley Coyote was not the cleverest <laughs> um and so but wiley and people talk about wiley fishes fishes that you can't 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 really catch right and the whole point behind wiley fish is that it is a brand protection system that's based upon at its base a full u.s trademark search so you can go in do a full u.s trademark search for free with a artificial intelligence built in so it gives you better results along with you can click the misspells and other sort of stuff like that, and then you can filter down in order to find, you know, whether it's live or dead and all these other sorts of things, and then save and export that data as needed so that you can come back later on as opposed to the USPTO search, which you cannot come, you can't save your data, you, right. can't, you can't come back, you can't know what's going on. And over time, we're building in other little elements, including right. domain search, so that you do a search on trademarks, it'll tell you how many domains are out there with those in the same name. Nice. Now, do you offer like now? Do you offer notifications of those searches? So, like, let's say I searched for a given keyword and I want to know over the next, uh, you know, thirty days, six months, if something comes up that contains that, like, will I be notified then, or is that something that's like out over the horizon as a feature? It is a feature that we're working on. It's probably going to be built into the system in the next three to four months. Nice. So that's going in. A whole bunch of other features are going into the system. We're going to, uh, we made a deal with the UDRP group that they're, we're going to ask you to tell you on the domains whether there was a UDRP on the domain names. Wow. We're also going to have full um, who is history back to 2005. So yeah. they'll be able to say, all right, what, what, what did this website look like in 2005? And it's, at the same time, we're also taking screenshots. This is a full crawl of the internet right. of what each one of those domains look like now and the start. Right, so you don't have to go to the Wayback Machine and you're running around trying to get this capture of it or you're going to a different site for additional uh, right. information. Everything is just self-contained within one place, which would be Wiley Fish. Correct, that's why we call it the Swiss Army Knife. Of the nice. Now, will that also, that, that makes me think about just UDRP, obviously owning, I think I own probably somewhere near 1,500 domains, and so would there be a feature to where I would say, hey, I want to put a UDRP notice on these domains in the event something ever occurs? Because I, obviously, I mean, you get served, you'll know, but, you know, what if that doesn't come through, or have there been cases to where people haven't been notified, UDRP has been filed, people haven't been notified, obviously no response is rendered, and they lose the domain. Um, we are actually do have a system that automatically emails people when they have a UDRP. Nice. All right, and that's the part of Greenberg and Lieberman, is we write UDRPs. Right. We give you some responses, so that's been part of our system for a long time, so yes, it's going to be part 
part of the system so that if you own a domain name, you'll be able to market that we own these domain names and we want to get notification. So you'll get a notification as well as an offer on the correct system. Nice. Nice. Well, I mean, that's it. We've got another um, session to head off to as the final day of Merge closes. So I definitely appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. And really appreciate it. We'll yeah, certainly be in touch. And so is there anything, that, one final thing that you want to share? Uh, police your marks. Make sure you <laughs> keep watching what's going on. You don't watch, things happen. Right. Come so, check out the website. Certainly, certainly. And so please leave your comments. Please leave your questions below this video as well. Uh, you can reach out to uh, Stephen at Stephen at uh, APLegal.com. And that's with it an A on the second E. So uh, that being said, um, thank you for watching. And again, visit kickstartcommerce.com and subscribe to the Daily Scoop newsletter where I share uh, digital disciplines on digital strategy disciplines, and then uh, last but not least, we look forward to seeing you at NamesCon 2019. Thanks, and that's all for now.